Hey everybody and welcome to the VO2 podcast. In this episode, Paula talks to Kim Henderson. Now, Kim has got a really interesting story. Kim is a athlete herself. She's an endurance athlete. She's also a hairdresser by profession. And anybody that is a self-employed person know that you only get paid when you work. And when you stop working, the income stops. And Kim has been working alongside us for a while now to help change that. And she set up a wellness business. And in this podcast, Paula talks to Kim about how she set it up, how it's going, the success she's having for herself, but also the success that she's having with her clients. It's a really interesting listen. I hope you enjoy it. Let's jump in. So welcome, Kim, to uh, this chat that we're going to have. Um, thank you for taking the time to uh, chat to me. And just going to spend uh, half an hour or so just talking about your, your wellness business. So can you just sort of give me um, an insight into what your wellness business involves? Um, yeah, the business involves working with uh, my my clients to I really work with hair so I wanted to introduce it something because I've noticed a lot of people with hair loss and stuff so I wanted to introduce something that I could actually get the internal side of their body um, up and going if I'm working with their hair and making their hair look good I need to have them feeling good and, and fit and healthy inside so for me that was it just really went so well together it gelled together so when I got the opportunity I grabbed it. So what was it that made you want to set up that side of the business to complement your, you know, your main business? Um, from when I started taking um, the, the supplements, it was, it was great because I knew how I felt and how physically I felt, mentally how I felt. And for me again, for my hair and my nails was, was, was vital. I went through a stage where I had some hair loss um, through stress. So, and you know, I see that with my clients quite regularly through either hormones, menopause, stress. So when I noticed that change and that difference, for me, I just knew it was something that was a different side that I could bring in and introduce to my business and for my clients because it's, it, it works and it worked for me. So I was really passionate that I really wanted to for other people to have the same benefits that I had, um, which was great. And, and yeah, and so far it's been, it's been really good and worked. Excellent. So when you say you notice the benefits from the supplements, what were the main features that you felt really were in enhancing your health? So uh, before I, you know, I took lots of stuff before and I always thought, yeah, 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 this is doing me good. I feel great. But the main thing was I suffered from really, really bad fatigue. Um, being female, my body wasn't working properly. I had lots of issues. Um, so this was a case of, right, OK. And, I, and I, I had lots of those left, but I just knew that I had to stop those and, and restart something new that I knew was going to, you know, it, need to give it a chance to work and see you know um so yeah stripped all that back started with something fresh and um you know within three to four weeks I was starting to feel different um and the fatigue for me was something that was really it, it hit every area from emotional um hormonal I just felt like I was just struggling generally which then had a knock on effect with my home my training you know competing and my business um my energy levels were zapped but as time was going on I was like actually I'm feeling different and, and a lot of this was happening during COVID as well so you know that was really mentally draining but you know you try and do your best to sort of uplift yourself through that time but it meant that actually I'm, I'm all right I'm doing courses I'm doing this so I was kind of re-educating myself um and having the confidence to do it and I kind of believe that by taking um, what I was taking made a, a big difference on every dynamic of, of my body and going through to now you know the, the fatigue is just I don't have the fatigue that I have before if I get fatigue now it's just because 
work's really busy and I'm training hard, but it's not the same fatigue. That's it's it's, it's a different fatigue. It's a good fatigue. Yeah. It's not hard. Yeah. So yeah, it's been it's been huge. It's been a real big difference. Well, that's phenomenal to hear. And you talked about your your business and the the stresses and strains of your main business. So what what is your how did you what's your traditional business how have you traditionally made your income so my main income is through being a freelance hairstylist and bridal hairstylist so it's quite a demanding job so I visit houses or wedding venues and stuff so you know I spend a lot of time traveling um so it it's a busy it's a busy job you know it can be a case of going to two houses per day depending on what people are having done as opposed to sometimes six seven eight houses so it is a busy stressful time consuming job and there's always stuff to do behind the scenes especially when it comes to weddings it's yeah it's it's a busy busy but fun business yeah so what you're sort of describing is it's very time orientated and I'm guessing that you only get paid for the hours that you put in definitely so when you set up the, your additional um, business that that we're connected through uh what was it about that business model that you really liked what was the difference between the way you traditionally earned your income and the business model that that this presented for you um do you know the, the, the biggest thing is is that is knowing that I'm not earning money during my traveling time is something that really annoys me and I can sit I can be sat in traffic for an hour to mm. two hours and I'm not earning anything it's actually costing me money because it's costing me money on fuel and time so um and it, it's frustrating um and I can't do anything in that time either so it, it, for me it was like I need to really rethink what I'm doing um and what I can be generating in that time when I'm when I'm sat in traffic and what can be generating and 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 that was a good thing and it, it wasn't just about generating the money it was equally knowing that I'm actually helping people at the same time so yeah. it was a good combination so yes the money's great but actually it's money that yes I'm earning but I know that people are benefiting and for me that's so it was a win-win yeah and also with the um with the business partner that, that we work with. So when you're running your hairdressing business, you have to make, you have to order all the stock in, you have to hold the stock. So yeah. what what's what happens with the the, the the other business that you've set up? Well, it's great because, um, you know, all the, the customers' products get sent directly to them. And yeah. most as I set up their own accounts and stuff which is even better because it means that they're in complete control of it I've got a couple that I manage for them because they prefer it that way but most of my customers they most of my PCs they actually they are in control of their own business so if they want to add on to their order they can we speak about it so we'll talk about it and they'll ask me which is fine um and I'll recommend what I think is right for them and they might try something but I like the fact that they're actually in control of their own business because yeah. my my work is busy enough as it is. And I would hate to think that I forgot someone's order if like, oh, I should have put that through and I forgot. So, um, you know, they can manage it themselves, which is for me is, is vital. And also it means that they're in control of what they're taking. So yeah. they're, they're actually personally ordering it because they want to order it and they're going to take it so I think that's the great thing and it gets delivered to them as well so I haven't got to worry about going to a wholesaler's purchasing then delivering it's all out of my hands and I think the, the thing that I really like is they also get that email to let them know when it's going to be delivered they then get the the, the text message from the company saying when we're delivering it so everything is just it's a it's a, it's a tick box I don't have to worry about it's great yeah yeah, I mean, that's a massive, massive ad advantage. And and obviously, you know, you benefit from taking the products and um, your experiences of that can help you share that with your customers. Um, so with um, the customer experience, what what is it that you think you can provide that, for example, if they were going to go to a high street shop, and buy 
a, a similar named product, what is it they, they get with you that they wouldn't get from buying from a shop? I would say the, the biggest difference is I know them and they know me. So we've got a great rapport already. There's a, there's a big trust. Um, and, you know, if they ask me a question and I don't know it, I know that I've got the tools there to be able to ask the scientists. I've got our groups that we talk to. I can post a question up. I can talk in our Wednesday calls and I can I can ask, does anyone know this? And the information is always there. So I don't feel like I'm just going to give information for the sake of it. If I don't know it, it doesn't matter because you don't know everything. So um, the trust that, and bond that you build with your clients is vital. Um, because equally it means they can you know they can talk to me about it at the same time so if they're unsure of something or if they sort of said oh well I'm not sure about you know it says this about taking um, you know two in the morning two in the evening what what's your thoughts do I do that absolutely so I can talk them through it you know they could take that home forget what they're doing they're not going to go back into a shop and ask them they're going to be like well I, I don't know I'll, I'll just take one but they've yeah. got me as their person that they can confide in and they can talk to and I think that's what's really great about it yeah I mean that's a phenomenal thing isn't it that they get you <laughs> to <laughs> to help them with any questions they've got or any queries or if they're not sure about something or even if they want to try another product you know they're not going to go into a shop and just see shelves full of stuff that they haven't really got a clue what it is. So, and you mentioned the calls that you have and um, that that team. So it, it's not like you're running this second business by yourself. So what would you say about the sort of support that you get through running your business? Um, it's, it's huge. So you've got the different dynamics. You've got um, the tools to be able to use all the social media stuff that we're given. Um, which is great so everything is just set there for you you can just copy it paste it whatever you want to do and just you know put it onto any of your social media which is just again it's another time saving tool um, and you know that it's actually it's correct in its format that it's got to go out which is is vital um, but also our calls that we have on on Wednesdays it's a very safe place to talk so you can talk about anything and everything um, there's always questions fired out and it makes you for me it's really made me think a lot about my businesses um, and it, it you know you can kind of get stuck in a rut it's very easy to get stuck in a rut and just you know do your daily thing get up go to work go home you know all those things but actually this makes you think outside the box a little bit um, and it's probably made me think a lot more about me and what. I want and where I want everything to go and what I enjoy out of my businesses too and I think that's probably for me has been great sometimes we're challenged which I think is good because we all need to be challenged on stuff and it gives us those different thought processes um but they're, they're great calls you come out of it and you know finish the call at 10 o'clock and I'm like right okay I'm, I'm not tired now I, I like my brain is just working and whirling which is is great because you don't always get that with your day-to-day -day business, not in that fresh format. So it's, yeah, I really enjoy that part. Yeah. Well, that's great to hear. And you, you talked about it challenges you and makes you think about what you want for your future and what you want for you. So where would you say you would like your business to be in, say, you know, five years, five to 10 years? Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, that's a, it's a great thought and, and it's something that I absolutely do think about. And um, my thought process is in, in, in five years time is that I don't want to be working the hours that I'm working. Yeah. Um, you know, and I want to be able to have my own people working for, for me. So um, and obviously I want to set them up um, for them to benefit as well. So, um, yeah, so. I want to sort of reduce my hairdressing load and you know I for me I love this side of the business because it's just the benefits are huge and I like seeing people feeling those benefits um you know and for me my passion is to work more with menopausal women and if I can just do that um then actually I'm enjoying the job a whole heap more and yeah. we can you know, I can have a team of people that we're all doing the same so that's my that's my vision um, 
and hopefully in five years time I'll be having this call from somewhere else so uh, <laughs> maybe traveling around a little bit so absolutely you know, things so when I've got my camper van in five years time I can have this call with you and say that this is this is what happened so yeah well I mean it's it's great there's so many things there around having your vision but having a vision for other people you know having your own team and having a vision for them which is fantastic to hear but also you know having your goals for your change in your lifestyle and a change in your working life and you know all of those things to benefit you while you're benefiting other people so it's kind of a win a win win isn't it so yeah. I mean, it's fantastic to hear Kim really exciting so if you were to give anybody some advice about Yes, they were thinking of starting a business using the business model that we we use. What would you say to them? Um, what would I say? It's it's a very, very simple business. And the reason why it's simple is because everything is there for you. So if you feel that you don't have the time, and I'm we had a call the other week and I don't I really struggle with time, but this works because everything is there. So mm. if you feel you don't have the time, it's not a problem you do. Um, you have such a support unit around you that you never feel afraid to ask something. Um, and if you are busy, your business is generating money for you. Um, equally at the same time, people are benefiting because they're feeling healthier and they're feeling better. So it, again, it's a knock on. So. And the other thing that I, I really like as well is, is that, um, you know, we, we can build and we can build and we can build these businesses and, and you know, seeing how some people have built them. Um, horrible to say, but if anything happens, your business is, to, to, if anything happened to me, my business is still generating money because I've still got people that are buying from my business. So anybody that that's, you know, if I, if I pass away, actually other people are benefiting from it, from my family, because that money is going to go to them. Yeah. And that, me was was really really important actually that my business is still generating but it's going to be passed on to somebody else yeah. I don't know any other business that does that and when I heard that I mean it's actually kind of quite an emotional thing really because you think that's, that's an amazing thing for a company to actually set up and do um, but for me I, it spoke a lot about a business because they actually care not many businesses do so there was there are so many ticks to it I can't think of a reason that I don't enjoy it yeah um yeah. yeah there's so many dynamics to it which is great but I think also because how it I take the products I am my walk-in advert I yeah. know how I, feel. I want other people to feel the same and I would say if anyone wants to set this up it's that passion and that love of what we do to try and make people healthier and understand you know the 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 health side of it and it it's not a hard business it works so well because we're not selling yeah we're not anything to people yeah. um we're advising them and they're the ones that are purchasing and they're going to benefit from it so it's not it's not a hard sell that's not what we're about no. um but equally no. we're a team. But we are we are a big team and that's for business to be a team up we are i think it's yeah there's so many dynamics which is great yeah well i mean that's really uh interesting to to hear and so i guess the other thing is that there's no business premise is there it's not like we're all paying a business rent you know or a business sort of um rent on a on a building or a warehouse or you know all of that is kind of taken care of so again if somebody was thinking of setting it up and worried about having to hold lots of stock or um or like at the moment with inflation, you know, people who have business premises, maybe their rates and their rents are going up. None of that is applicable for this business, is it? No, and that's, that's that's you know, which is great. I mean, I know for myself from, from hairdressing, I have to carry a lot of stock around with me. So it's a lot of money that's being carried around. But again, with this, because it's just going out to people's houses and they're the ones that are ordering it, it's perfect. So, and, and also as well, I'd like to add that, if there's any queries, we get to phone up um, the main 
people and we get to talk to them and they sort it out so quickly as well if yeah. there's a problem there's help in every direction yeah. um we don't have to pay for those calls they're free calls again you know and they're so helpful and they're so nice that um yeah I think that's really important for people to to understand that as well is just yeah to have that um there is is also good yeah absolutely so I mean it's it's great to hear your passion and your enthusiasm and I mean obviously um your, your business is going really really well and thriving so um you know it's great to hear that you've got a long-term vision for it and um I just want to say thank you for sharing your thoughts around it and um sharing your insights into into your business I oh, know it's great it's uh it's enjoyable and uh yeah I love it it's just it's it's so it's, it doesn't feel like a business it just feels like it's part of my life and I think that's yeah. the difference but that's how we treat it really absolutely well thanks Kim thanks so much for your time and um we'll we'll speak again soon lovely thank you thank you